Hello everybody. How far can you go with an eco trick? Today, I'm gonna find out. Stay tuned for this episode. Yeah, hello everyone, Papa Blue Shirt here. We're gonna go on an adventure today. We're gonna see how far you can go with an eco trick on one battery. I got two batteries and so we're gonna take one battery out, one battery back. Hopefully they'll both be the same so I don't get stranded. <laughs> Cause mama don't wanna come up and get me. Oh, it's a long ways up there. A long way. Did sort of a test the last month and I went uh, 64 miles with, with uh, two batteries. And um, when I got done, I still had two bars on my last battery, but you know, mama got tired. You know, I was the one who rode 64 miles, but Mama was tired. <laughs> I was. I get tired out fast. Uh, so, so I called it a day. It was 64.8 miles. <laughs> Can you believe that? 64.8. You know, I could have just rode around the block a few times and got the the point two, so it'd be 65. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, my mistake. Uh, my mistake. Anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're going up to the Tunnel Hill Trail, so we're gonna go up there and we're gonna see how it goes. Yeah. Alrighty. I'll leave a link to uh, the video of us putting these bikes in here. We, we figured out a way that we can get them in here pretty easy. So so we didn't have to buy a trailer and we didn't have to buy a bike rack. <laughs> I'm too cheap. I'd rather buy another e-bike. Yep. So it's a nice day in December, December 10th. It is going to be 66 degrees today, which is like a heat wave for us. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go out and we're going to ride today. Uh, this time I'm going to ride a little bit faster, so I'll probably use it up faster. So we'll see how that goes. Alrighty. All right, there's where I'm starting. 1,216 miles. And my trip odometer is on zero. So let's get this show on the road. Starting at the Tunnel Hill Trail. I think it's funny the person who put the sign up didn't put it up straight. <laughs> it's off a little bit on that side. Oh, I noticed those things. But yeah, this is a nice little old uh, train depot here. All right, well, I started on the trail. I started on number one. Probably do this for like a half a mile on number one just to warm up the legs and everything. Let me describe the trail here a little bit. Uh, for the first nine miles, it has a slight upgrade. And then there's a nice three or 4% grade up, up to the tunnel. And then after that, we'll go downhill for a while and then uphill. And, yeah, so I'm going to kick this thing up here. So I did 0.4 and now I've kicked it up to up to 2. And uh, go on this for a little bit. But you can see the trail with a crushed limestone. Uh, it's a very smooth trail. This used to be a railroad bed. And uh, Looks like they, they've blown the leaves off of this portion anyway. They're here anyway. The last time I went on the trail, it was filled completely with leaves. And it looks like they've cleaned this portion off. Now I went up to three. So I went the first half mile below three. Now I'm speeding her up a little bit. Yeah, the trail's really nice today. Beautiful. I'm a little cool just with my long sleeve. Uh, shirt here but um it's always good to start out your your trail being a little cool because you'll warm up as as you go along so i'm gonna put the phone down and we'll get some uh get some riding in here go up interstate 24 here One mile and I'm kicking it up to number four. I hate to ride on one through three for any period of time because it just feels like you're just going so slow. But four I could ride for a while. 
So we'll see if we can do the first 10 miles and more. And then I'll be warmed up real good. Anyways, give you kind of an idea of the temperature and everything today. It's about 64 degrees uh, on December 10th, right at the bottom of Illinois. So that's a pretty good temperature. I do feel a slight breeze, three, four miles an hour that I'm heading into right now. So as you know, wind, the weight of the driver and how you how you ride has a big bearing on how far you can go. I weigh about 165, 75 I should say. I lost a lot of weight since I've been doing this, but about, about 30 pounds or something like that anyway. But uh, so I weigh about 175. So got to give you an idea how much I weigh. Here's the first crossroads we're coming up on here. Let's see what crossroads this is. This is Shelby Road. Shelby Road. One of the tunnels. Just going underneath the road here. Come 2.8 miles. Still showing all five bars. This is a slight upgrade here. Goes at an upgrade until you get to the tunnel. Here's to do. And actually, you can see a lot more in the winter time because the leaves are gone. So that's the second group of people I passed so far. The first three and a half miles. And like I said, from Vienna to the tunnel, it's probably the busiest. Well, I know it's the busiest. I come up here on a weekend when it was warm, and I pass someone every every 500 feet. It seemed like on this side. Once I got past the, the tunnel, um, I didn't pass hardly anybody. Okay, here's one of the mini bridges here. There's some up here too. Yep, you can foresee, for sure see a lot more in the winter time than you can in the summer. But this is a nice trail no matter what. In the summertime, it's in the shade, so when it's hot, it really makes for a nice ride because it's shaded the, almost the whole way. Yeah, it's all down there, you wouldn't be able to see in the summertime. Like I said, I'm going into a slight wind. These are all things I never saw before. Right through here I saw. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's one of the many bridges. I think there's like 30, 33 bridges I think. Those that say using an e-bike is cheating, but they've actually done done uh, studies on it, and you only use 20% less energy, and you go much farther. Where a person on a regular bike might go 15 miles and use 20% more energy, but. Uh, 
person rides an e-bike might go 35 miles so what i'm saying is even though per mile you may not use as much energy but you end up going a lot more miles i think because you enjoy it more and it helps for us older people to get us so we can do it i mean a couple years ago i was just flat on my back in intense pain and couldn't hardly move couldn't barely walk i was using a walker and uh, i thought i thought that pretty much my life was over but uh through time i've been able to build back up and uh, i thought well i'll give this a try and uh I tried it that one day i'll leave a bit i'll leave a link to the video up above we tried it that one day and from that point on we were bitten all of us and i've got over 1200 miles on my bike and the girls have over 600. Well, that's the sixth group of people i went by so even even the girls have uh, caught the bug and uh so yeah but don't let anybody tell you that getting an e-bike you're gonna be cheating and you ain't gonna get no exercise obviously they don't know what they're talking about and i'll say that as kindly as i can most of the people who say that have never even even now uh, written one they're what they call a purist you know those are kind of people who run barefoot and, and uh things like that but i say you use whatever you can to get out and about here's the seventh group of people we'll see how many we have on the other side not gonna be many i chose four and five as a speed level because if you go down below four you don't seem to go very far very fast and it's just kind of monotonous four and five like i'm doing i'm doing 15 miles an hour uphill and which is a pretty good speed and uh it keeps you from getting boring Number 216. And so it helps. So I've determined that four and five are really about the best. Four and five, you can really cover some ground. Uh, last time I rode up here, I rode four for part of the way and they looked and saw where I was at. They stopped to use the restroom and I'd already passed them like four or five miles. She, she thought something was wrong with her phone because she couldn't figure out how I could get that far but that was the advantage of riding that four most of the way and then going up the pond here I didn't even know it was there I didn't even know it was there okay I've come 8.4 and it looks like I'm down two bars already but if I stop pedaling it goes all the way up so that's kind of just letting me know that if I keep going this way it's going to go down pretty fast and we are going uphill and you can see in the distance there there's there is a tunnel I don't think that is the tunnel I think that's the other one this just goes underneath the highway I think but we'll see here Actually, I believe this is the this is the tunnel. Okay, turn my light on. It looks it looks like no big deal. 1929 when this was built. Looks like no big deal when you first pull in here. But as you get in here, your eyes really start to play tricks on you. Now I have the light on and uh 
I can see somewhat, but if you just ride in here with no light on, it's like the walls just close right in on you. And you can't see nothing. And then your eyes begin to adjust and then you, and then there you are. Oh, wow. As you can see, it's really beautiful from here. Oh, it's a lot colder on this side. Wow, I can't believe it. it's probably 10 degree difference, or five degrees anyway. So this will end the busy portion. Now we'll start getting into where it's just me and the trail. And 9.1 miles and I've used one bar so far and in case you're wondering it's a nice little bathroom area right here along with the signboard a lot of people start here and they go the other way Come here on the weekend, this whole thing will be full. It'll be full of cars. Especially on a really, really lit, nice weekend. So my plan is to go for the first 10 miles on four and then I'm gonna bump it up. And I'll have to do the same on the way back, otherwise I might run out of battery. <laughs> so that's what my plan is. 10.1 miles in front. Knocked her up to five. Now I can cruise. Well, I went from 15 to 18 miles an hour up to 23. And so far I've passed three groups of people on this side. Really tell the difference in the sapping of the battery when you put it in five. So I think if you want to get the longest out of it. Probably need to go with, with four. But as you can see, I'm out of breath. And, you know, like I said, I have 1,200 miles, almost 1,300 miles under my belt now. And uh, so I'm not a newbie newbie. I'm sure there's people in a lot better shape than I am. But my, my standing heart rate's above 54. So, versus 78 or something when I started. So I'm getting in you know, somewhat, somewhat shape anyway. But we are going slightly uphill and uh, I'm going into the wind. The wind seems to be stronger on this side. Here's some of the rock formations that you don't get to see in some of that. bars at 13 miles, 13.1 miles. Like I said, I'm not trying to do a range test for as far as I can get. Doing a range test for how far I can get on riding four and five. Well, yeah, I was just chased by a little ankle biter. <laughs> kind of scared me because I wasn't expecting it. you think be in a bike trail like this that the dogs would be used to you going through here. But he chased me for, for quite a little ways there. But I remember this hill well. It's where I changed my battery one time going the other way. Because a big hill here. And that's where I run out. Here's where I'm at. 15.7 miles and I had two bars. I can do I can do 20 for sure, I know. And beyond that it has to do with the, with uh, how bad the wind is and what the how many hills there are and stuff. 
keep on keeping on here. Just went by New New Burnside's where it's been through. It's gonna record there, but the road a little bit rough through there. And you got a few road crossings. And so uh, the only time I ever ever crashed is when I got distracted, so I try not to get distracted. I'll leave the link up above to my crash. <laughs> Bar. Those things smell really bad. And then I smell the skunk, so skunk on top of that. Not a very pleasant smell. But we're at 18 and a half miles, and I'm still showing two bars. Doing about doing about 20 miles an hour. Alright, I'm in stone for it. 19.5 miles. I put it down on four because some of these crossings are pretty rough. And, uh, yeah, that's it. 20 miles. Showing one bar now. Those things I can see that bridge flexing. <laughs> well, there we are, 20.4 miles. I still have two bars. So, let's see how much further I get here. Further, I went from the wetlands up to here, and so that'd be 34 miles. So, I should be able to get if I get what I did that day, I should be able to get another 13 miles which I think will put me at Harrisburg, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. There's another lake I didn't know was there. <laughs> well, maybe I saw it last time. I'm not gonna get as much as I did last time. But last time I stayed in the low. I think I didn't turn to number five until I reached the tunnel, which was about 20 miles into the ride. So being up on five really makes a difference. And I'm I'm flashing now, so. Won't be long now. Well, there we are, 25.7. It starts slowing down, so I am going to, I'm gonna carry your mills. And uh, got a little stop thing here. Picnic table. And so this is where I'm gonna, gonna turn around, I think. Here's where we're at. I'm right. Here. So I didn't quite make it to Harrisburg. I thought I'd make it up in here somewhere, but going on five, that really brings it down. So I'm gonna eat lunch and I'm going to change my battery and head back. So let's see what we got for a sandwich here. Looks like we got a peanut butter and squished peanut butter and jelly. good. Didn't know a peanut butter jelly could taste that good. Yeah, what's this stuff? Got an apple berry going on here.
That's kind of weird. Kind of tastes like baby food. Five point seven miles. My pack rat holding up a lot better than the other one did. I um used to have the kind that hooks right on the seat, and I've probably been okay for on the road and stuff, but off road it just didn't last very long to beat it to death. I'll leave a link for the head catastrophe and it was not pretty. But this one's holding up really nice, so first major trip I went on it, but looks like it's holding holding all up. Holding together good. And then of course I have my lights here. These only have to recharge about every 500 miles. Got this little bar here. Because the handlebars on these things as you can see, they're not they're not round. They're all different size, so it's really hard to get things to hook onto here because once you get up here, it's just so, just so thick. So I needed some place to put my water, and so I can do this. And you can actually do an, take another one of these and go down, and you can add on even more than that. But and so I was able to put my phone holder and all that on there. But uh, most of the time. I don't even use the fold holder unless I'm using it for for Google Maps or something. And see my reflector is kind of bent up here, but that's because I spin the the um, spin the handlebars to get it in the car. But uh, yeah, let's see how many how many miles I have on this. Miles, and I got my little mud flaps here. These are really handy to keep most of the mud off you. I got one on the back here, and then of course, got my little little bag here. It has my my tools in it, and then I got my my big pack, my big pack here. These are really handy because you just push this button here, lift the whole thing off, and take it in the house so you can pack it up before you go and then once you get where you're going you can take it off real easy so that's what I'm hauling my battery in today it's called the Ibera pack pack rack like I said I'll leave a link for all these down in the description so there's where we're at 25.7 miles I'm gonna ride the first 10 miles and level four again just so I can make sure I make it back I might go longer <laughs> depending on how the battery holds up but uh I don't mind going up I just hate going down on the on that so, anyways that's the thing it took me about an hour and a half to get to here so yeah at the carrier mills memorial
down there's the real Mr. Bailey. Not George Bailey, but Victor Bailey. Can't see any other ones here. Out of window homes. <laughs> Out of the homes, anyway. There's Mr. Powell. I didn't even see these over here. Yeah, pretty interesting stuff. But this over here, Edna, 1911, should be 109 years old. Probably just never come back and put it on there. Thanks for your service. Thanks for your service, guys. Well, yeah, I'm back on the road again. Starting out in one, just like I did in the other one. Like for this little ways. Then I'll start going up. Yeah. There's a little pond over there. I'm in two right now. I'll try to go like three or four miles before I go up because I don't want to run out. Yeah, you know, like I said, it's easier to go up than to go down. And so start at the lower ones. Try to avoid having to come down on the other end. But man, it really messes with your mind when you're cruising along and then you have to cut back. It seems like it takes forever. And it's like someone's pulling on you. So and besides I need to kind of take it a little easy because I just got the neat. One thing to keep in mind is you know, even though the battery is switched was pretty much dead when you switched it as it cools off you'll be able to get some more miles out of it so if you got almost to the end and you were a couple miles away and your new battery was get, was going dead you could you could switch the battery back and theoretically you could get a few more miles that way but uh i'm at 1.1 miles I'm going to try to go to 2 and then I'll up it to 3. Yeah, 1.5 I switched to 3 because I was passing someone and didn't want to linger too long. So right now I'm at 2.4, so doing about 12 miles an hour. Yeah, having, having a porta potty convention over there. She wouldn't have a problem finding a place to go to the bathroom here. <laughs> yeah, I'm back to this railroad bridge. Still doing a three at five miles. I'll probably switch. Switch to four up here by this this uh, chicken barn. Only because I don't want to smell that any longer than I have to. Stone port. Still on three, no six miles. So probably the other side of this town. I'll go. I'll bump it up to four. Okay, I bumped up to four. Getting ready to go past the chicken farm. I'm at seven miles. So. Hopefully that'll leave me enough on the way back. Yeah, I've come about two miles on four. I'm gonna tell, let me tell you, the enjoyability factor is much higher versus four versus three. Uh, three, it just seems like you're not going nowhere. It takes forever to put the miles in. But on four, I'm doing about 15 and a half miles an hour. And uh, I 
At least it feels like I'm getting somewhere. It says I've only used one bar so far. After the tunnel, I'll bump it up to five. That's all mostly downhill from there, so I could make it without any problem. So that's the plan. Can't watch him here. Cat coming over to check me out. Okay, I'm 10.4 miles. I'm at New, new Burnside. And uh, about three or four miles away from the tunnel. And then I'll kick it into high gear and we'll take this on to the house. <laughs> Beautiful observations over there. Like I said, you usually don't get to see this. These are the trees. Here's the old remains of an old brick road. Cut across here. We should turn that into a trail too. Ray that it's right before the tunnel. Yeah, it's a pretty tough hill after you've been going for a while. And I think I'm getting pretty close to the tunnel. I think it's just around it. Two bars left. Got two bars left. So hopefully, hopefully I plan this right. There's a little bit of a strategy involved, you know. Don't want to get stuck. This last leg is 9.2 miles, and you don't want to get stuck halfway through with no battery. All right. Let's see if I make it. Still got like four miles to go. So how it's gonna do here? Back up hill again, I guess. Keep going through hot and cold patches down here. That's what we have when we get back. And it says, I have two bars left. 25.7, so it'll be 51.4 miles. Yeah. Whew. Well, I made it back. We got our bikes in here and I'm headed for the house. 51.4 miles with the two batteries. My last battery had two had two bars when I was left over. Two bars left over when I got back, and uh, um, yeah, it's because I rode it a little bit different on the way back. Didn't want to run out. All right, it's Bob Blue Shirt. Don't forget to like and subscribe.